हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर चैप्टर टू एटमोसफेयर इन दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मेनी रिल ऑफ द अर्थ देर आर फोर रिल ऑफ द अर्थ नंबर वन लिथोस्फेयर विच कंप्राइज द सॉलिड पोर्शन ऑफ द अर्थ सेकेंड हाइड्रोस्फेयर विच कंप्राइज all water bodies on the earth third atmosphere which comprises the blanket of air around earth and the last one biosphere which comprises the living world so let us start our chapter introduction the blanket of earth surrounding around the earth is known as atmosphere without air earth would have been a lifeless planet it not only supplies air and water to plant and animals but also protect them from the harmful rays of the sun the atmosphere stretch above the earth to the height of more than a thousand kilometer it is held in place by the earth forest of gravity gravitational forces are stronger near the surface of the earth and therefore the density of air is greater near the surface of earth as we go higher the air start spinning ultimately it merges with the space composition of the atmosphere air is a mixture of several gases in different proportion the composition is as follow nitrogen 78 percent is oxygen 21 percent and other gases 1 percent some dust particle are also present in the atmosphere nitrogen the most abundant gas is useful for the survival of plant atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrogen compound by nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the soil plant absorb nitrogen compound and convert them to protein animal take this protein by eating plant or other animals nitrogen return to the atmosphere when denitrifying denitrifying bacteria act on the animal waste and the dead bodies of plant an animal oxygen ring at the second most plentiful gas in the atmosphere it is essential for the survival of plant and animals living beings need oxygen to breathe and stay alive green plant produce oxygen during the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide are used for plant for making its food so the carbon dioxide is used for during photosynthesis is replaced by the carbon dioxide release in the respiration by by organism thus nature has space to maintaining the balance of the gases in atmosphere however human activity disturbing this balance by polluting the air fact the tropopause and stratosphere were discovered by leon tisserens the boat a french scientist who was the first person to launch hundreds of weather balloons from his observatory 
structure of the atmosphere the atmosphere can be divided into four distinct layer a troposphere b stratosphere c mesosphere and d thermosphere now troposphere the lowest and the dense layer the atmosphere is known as troposphere about 3/4 of the mass of the atmosphere is contained within this layer this is sphere in which changes related to weather condition occur it protects earth heat of sun during the day and keep the earth warm at night the extent of the layer about 18 km above the equator but only 8 km above the two poles most of the water vapor dust particles and cloud are formed in this layer the upper limit of the troposphere is called tropopause next stratosphere it lies above the troposphere and extend to about 15 km above the earth surface there is a gradual increase of temperature in this layer this is a layer where the air travel is safest because there there are no bumping pocket of air therefore aircraft usually fly in this space it also has a abundance of ozone gas which protect us from the sun ultraviolet rays it is called ozone sphere which is quite warm due to absorption of this rays the upper limit of this layer is called strato to pause mesosphere it lie above the stratosphere and extend to about 80 km above the earth surface here the temperature decrease with the height till it reaches minus 100 degree celsius this layer has the lowest temperature at the at the atmosphere it is the coldest layer of the atmosphere the upper limit of this atmosphere is called mesosphere thermosphere thermosphere lies beyond the mesosphere in this layer the temperature increases rapidly with the increase in height above the main sea level it is estimated the temperature at the upper limit of the thermosphere reaches up to more than 1500 degrees celsius the air is very thin and holds little heat one does not feel warm even at such a high temperature the thermosphere protect us from from the meteorites and obsolete satellite as the high temperature can burn nearly all the nearly to the earth thermosphere can be divided into two parts the lower part is known as ionosphere and the upper part is exosphere now ionosphere ionosphere it lies above mesosphere and extend up to the height of about 400 km above earth surface it contains electrical charges particles called ions with help in transmitting communication signal radio waves 
are reflected back to the earth from this layer the communication satellite help in transmitting the signal back to earth the temperature rises rapidly with altitude in this temperature near the north pole this phenomena is known as aurora borealis and the northern lights and near the south pole this phenomena is called aurora australis or southern light exosphere the outermost layer of the atmosphere is called exosphere the air thin in this layer until it ultimately merges into outer space the temperature increase rapidly into this layer because of solar radiation the temperature increased with increase in height and may reaches up to 4500 degrees celsius at its outer limit